Hello everyone. Today's concern is use of integration to calculate producer surplus. Okay, let's start. First of all, we are going to define the concept producers surplus. Let me denote this one as PS. Okay, producers surplus first of all let me define the concept producer surplus producer surplus denoted by ps is equals to actual price producer receives minus minimum acceptable price. So producer surplus is the difference between actual price that the producer receive minus minimum acceptable price graphically this can be expressed as area under the equilibrium price line equilibrium price line minus the minimum acceptable price is the area under the supply curve. Supply curve. Okay. In our diagram, area under the equilibrium price line is PEQO. And the area under the supply curve is SEQO. Therefore, our producer surplus is PES, that is the shaded area in the diagram. Okay, so let's calculate producer surplus by using okay by using integration integration area under the equilibrium price line price line is equals to integration of sorry it's my mistake let me erase this one okay so area under the equilibrium price line is equilibrium price multiplied by equilibrium quantity okay here p bar stands for equilibrium price and q bar stands for equilibrium quantity okay similarly the area under the supply curve supply curve is equals to integration of 
definite integration of zero to Q bar of this supply function with respect to Q. Okay. Now, producer surplus can be written as price multiplied by quantity minus integration of supply function with respect to Q, okay? So this is the formula to calculate producer's surplus. This one is the formula to calculate producer's surplus. Okay, now let's take an example. Here, the supply function, supply function is P is equals to 5 plus Q and market price, market price is equals to, let's say, $10. Here, P is equals to $10. Okay. So, from the supply function, supply function, we can write P is equals to 10 is equals to 5 plus Q. This can be written as Q is equals to 10 minus 5. Therefore, Q is equals to 5 units is the equilibrium quantity okay so we have calculated equilibrium quantity this one is five units and price is price is ten dollar okay ten dollar now we have to find out the value of this s that's why right. that is the starting point of the supply curve. So for that, when Q is equals to, when Q is equals to zero, then P is equals to, from the supply function, five plus Q is equals to zero, this is equals to five. Hence, The supply curve, hence the supply curve starts from five units on the vertical axis. Vertical axis. So this value is equals to five. Okay, now producer surplus is equals to, let me write the formula, price multiplied by quantity minus definite integration zero to Q bar 
integration of the supply function with respect to Q. So this is equals to price is $10 multiplied by five units minus, so this is equals to zero to Q bar is five. And the supply function is five plus Q dq right so this is equals to 50 minus let's do the integration so this becomes 5q plus q square upon 2 and our lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 5 that means we are going to find out the area between zero to five. Okay, so let me proceed. This one is 50 minus, putting the value of Q as five, we get five multiplied by five plus five to the power two divided by two, okay? So this is equals to, let me write here, 50 minus 25 plus, this one is 12.5. So this is equals to 50 minus 37.5. Five, right? This is equals to twelve point five. Therefore, our producer surplus is equals to twelve point five dollar. Okay. And this value of producer surplus can also be obtained by using another formula okay so here producer surplus is equals to the shaded area the shaded shaded area this is equals to the triangle triangle p e s okay the area of the triangle PES and the area of the triangle can be obtained by using the formula half into base into high. This is equals to one by two into base is five and the height is 10 minus 10 minus five is the height. So this is equals to one upon two multiplied by 5 into 5 is equals to 12.5. Therefore, producer surplus is $12.5. In this way, we can find out the producer surplus, okay? So this is the shortcut way to find out producer surplus if the supply function is linear. But if supply function is not linear, then this formula cannot be applied because there will be no such triangle, like P, E, F. Okay, thank you very much.